It's the Line Makers on Sporting News. Eastern Conference semifinals, Bulls at the Heat. Stunning upset by the Bulls in game one. It's forced the price from 30 to 1 on the, the Heat down to 10 to 1. Maybe some value there. Welcome to Line Makers on Sporting News. He's Rick Heron. I'm Micah Roberts. Ricky, what did you think about the stunning? Before we get into game two, the stunning game one upset. Well, well Micah, 93-86, you know, I mean, the, it, we talked about it. We, we, liked the, we thought the Heat were going to come out chomping at the bit to play, but you never know when a team's got a week off, eight days off, how they're going to perform after that layoff and after you're used to playing two and three yep. times a week. You never know if they're going to come out flat. The Heat came out flat. They were five for 19 from the floor in the first quarter. Down 21-15. If they came back and they had a seven point, they had they were up 76 to 69, and you were thinking, well, they're going to go ahead and cover the the, the double digits. Yeah. Look, and the Bulls outscored them 24 to 10 down the stretch, including the last 10, that, seven of which was from Nate Robinson. Yeah, and you wouldn't expect that out of the Heat team, but the the Bucks didn't do them any favors in the first four games as well. So when you add in the long layoff of not playing at all, playing a team like the Bucks that shouldn't have even been in the playoffs. The Heat haven't really done anything for a week, you know, two and a half weeks, really. And I, I almost think, I don't, I don't think they wanted to lose, but I think they wanted to be challenged. And I think it's one of those throwaway games where they'll respond and play a lot better. And, and I don't think the Bulls at this juncture are, you can't expect Jimmy Butler to come up with 14 rebounds again. And 21 or, points. Yeah, you can't expect that. And you can't expect Robinson to be, once again, outstanding. I think once every three or four games with Robinson, but not two games in a row, I just think it's a 12-point spread here. We're looking at with the, the Heat. 12 and 187. I will say this. This is one tough bunch, the Bulls. I, I, I just, no Lou Aldang, no Heinrich, obviously no Derrick Rose all yep. year. Come out with that performance. and They're now three and they've won three out of the five they meetings with the Heat. This Two year. of them you in Miami. It, you said it before the series started that it's a tough matchup for the Heat. You were right. It's I, I just mean, the physical nature. Tom yeah. Thibodeau instills that in them. And they they play tough, and they're they're fearless out there, and they're not afraid of the heat, and don't see the fear of the uniform and the the big trio that the Heat have. And when you look at LeBron James, he only scored two points in the first half. Right. Um, Dwayne Wade wasn't game. overly sensational, and Chris Bosh kind of disappeared. Well, he, they, D- Wade and Wade and LeBron were the only two guys in double figures. Right? LeBron ended up with 24, and, and Wade had 14. Those were the only two guys they had in double figures. You know, the first quarter kind of set the tone, though. It was their lowest scoring first quarter of the year, mm-hmm. and 15 points. Uh, they still. All that being said, they still, even though. They lost three out of the five to the Bulls this year. They're still 41 and three in their last 44. That's Two of those good. losses are to the Bulls, though, yes. out of those three losses. So, yes. but I'm kind of leaning with you. I expect a big uh, comeback performance from the Heat in Game Two. Okay, so it looks uh, like laying the points is the play with the Heat here. And um, even though the minus ten dollars in the series price, it's got a little value there. As <laughs> I don't like laying ten dollars on anything, but when you're equating it to what the Price is to win the championship, and what the price was to win the series, there is a lot of value. Well, there. I don't like laying 12 in an individual game either, and, and definitely don't like laying 10 to 1, but I can't see the Bulls beating this team four times. So, yeah, yeah there, there would be some value, I think, at 10 to 1. All right. We think the Heat are coming back strong game, too. Thanks for watching.